Hey guys, it's me Carrie, and I am back with yet another friend mail because I am the luckiest girl in the whole wide world. I do not know why I have so many amazing friends that send me so many amazing gifts, but I am so incredibly grateful and appreciative. This particular box is from my friend Carol Ann, who I met, I want to say it was the fall of 2016, but it might have actually even been 2015. I would have to check at an event in Staten Island. Um, my friend Lori and I, who had been friends, I think we became friends through Twitter in like 2012-ish, um, were going to meet up with our friend Kristen at a speaking engagement she was doing in Staten Island. And I brought my husband Brian and Ka uh, Lori brought her friend Carol Ann, who I did not know up until that point in time. And I'd never met Lori in person before either. And the four of us had such a great time we didn't get to spend as much time afterwards with our friend Kristen as we had hoped. She was having a really rough night, but um, but we got to see her do her speaking engagement, and that was really, really cool. And since then, um, we've just, you know, Lori and I, obviously, and Caroline and I have remained friends on Instagram. And Caroline was so sweet. One day she posted, I think it was a picture of some really cute kawaii pins that she had purchased. And Caroline and Lori are both huge fans of K-pop and Korean dramas and like the whole like Korean lifestyle and kawaii stuff certainly fits into that. So I think I had liked the, the post or commented, oh, how cute are these? And Caroline had said to me, excuse me, sorry, sniffles. You know, I'd like to send you a friend mail if that would be okay. And at the time she was living in Jersey, same as my friend Lori, but she is now living in Texas with her daughter and she's so happy out there. She's just really, really thrilled to be out there by her kids. So that's awesome. And anyway, this is the box that Caroline sent me. And I had actually almost forgotten about it because we had talked about it quite a while ago. And I'm just so, so, so stoked that she remembered me and thought to send this. It is so incredibly sweet. So first we have a card, and there's my little name. And forgive me if I have sniffles throughout this video. Like I said, allergies are freaking nuts here in New York. Should have brought some tissues out. I know, gross. But, um... It's just, it's been really, really hot and then really, really rainy. And typically the rain clears the allergens out of the air, but it feels like all they're doing is stirring shit up. So it's just making my allergies 110 times worse. But anywho, so that's neither here nor there. This is the adorable card she sent and it's his cat. And like me, Carol Ann is a cat mama. And I love this card as well as obviously her human daughter, <laughs> but she's a cat mama as well. Okay. This is a long note, and I see some things in here that look personal, so I'm not going to share it on camera, but I just want to say thank you so much, Carol Ann, for remembering me and doing this. I am so, so, so stoked. I adore you. We just hit it off right away upon meeting. I think she is such a cool girl, so I'm so excited to have this friend mail from you. Okay, first thing I see. Ooh. These are Korea's number one brand chocolate biscuits, and these are called, I'm going to brutalize all of these names, I'm sure, Pepero, but I'm probably saying it completely wrong. It's probably Pepero or Pepero or something, I don't know, but they look delicious. They remind me of Pocky, except they actually look like they have a lot more dip than Pocky does, so I'm all about that, like just a little handle to hold that you don't get your fingers messy, and then everything else chocolate dipped, yes please, I love it, so I'm so excited to try these, and if you would like all of these things, because it looks like there's lots of yummy goodies in here I can do persevering noms videos on, just let me know in the comments if you would like me to do that, and I will refrain from eating them until I open them and eat them on camera. Next thing we have here, ooh, something salty and savory. This is, again, I'm going to brutalize the name, Nongshim. I hope I'm saying that right. Nongshim potato snacks. And look at how cool these look. They're like twisty, like almost like twisty cheese curls or something. Like as if it was like a puffy cheese doodle, but twisted. And they look so delicious and sound so good. And I don't know that I've ever tried Korean treats, to be honest. I've tried stuff from Japan. Um, I've probably tried some Korean stuff, I'm thinking, in my kawaii boxes, but I'm not absolutely certain. I don't always check the country of origin, but these are both definitely Korean snacks, so I'm really stoked to try them. Next up, we have... God, sorry for the sniffles. That's so gross. 
We have four of these, and I don't know how you say the name of this company either. I don't know if it's Lot or Lottie, but these say Lottie Binch, and they feel like some kind of, like textually, it almost feels like, hmm, about the size of like a Ritz cracker, but almost like maybe it's dipped in chocolate or something. I'm not sure. I'm guessing because of the brown that maybe it's kind of a, you know, a chocolate sweet, but it could it could actually be like a cracker dipped in chocolate. I have no idea, but again, I will taste these on camera if you would like me to. Hold, please, while I blow my nose. Just a second, guys. Okay, guys, we're back, and I need to dig better because I thought there were only four of those snacks in there, but there are actually six of them. So I am really, really, really excited to try these. I can't wait. And I will definitely share some with my hubby too because I'm sure he's never tried any of these awesome treats either. Next item I see is, ooh, this looks so, oh, this is so cute. It's a little bag full of all sorts of kawaii stationery goodies. And the bag is pretty too. Let me open that up. It's got a little twist tie on it. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I can't read to re can't wait if I can speak to read the card, but I definitely, like I said, saw some personal-ish stuff, so it's not for sharing on camera, but I definitely want to read that as soon as I can. Oh my gosh, look at how cute this Ben is with this little sweet kitty cat. I love it. And let's see, is it going to be a rollerball or oh, it's actually a lead pencil. Okay, see the lead coming out there, and then you just do the whoop magic and pop it back in. That is so freaking adorbs. I love it. And then to go with, we have this super cute, it says MG Friends Eraser. There it is, MG Friends. And it's got these super cute little bear and a little chicken. And then on the other side, we have like a chick and another bear and the chicken and a kitty cat and a bunny. And this is a huge eraser. It is so cute. I will probably never use it, but I will open it up because a lot of times cutesy erasers like this are scented too and I love the smell of them. I used to love going to the Sanrio store at my mall that used to be there a hundred years ago. Oh, I wish it was still there. And I would buy the Hello Kitty erasers and they always smelled like bubble gum or something sweet and I loved them. So I have a feeling this one might be scented too. Oh, to hell with it. I'm just going to open it now so we can enjoy together. Even though I'm so stuffed up, I don't know if I'll be able to smell anything, but we'll try. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't want to rip it. Okay. We don't actually have to undo the whole thing, but I guess I will. Oh, there was a pull string <laughs> to make it easier. Dee -dee -dee. I'm so smart. Okay, now, again, I might not be able to smell it even if it is scented because my nose is stuffed up. Hmm. I don't think I smell anything. I will have to check again on a day when I'm not so congested. But anyway, then next up we have this adorable little notebook with these sweet little friends all dressed up. It looks like, are they all bears? It's, no, it's a little, a little duck or a chick and then two bears and they're dressed up in little costumes. And look at how the little chick is dressed up like, I think that's supposed to be like a seal maybe, but I'm not absolutely sure. So freaking adorable. Oh, and this is actually from San X, which is a line... That's a uh, branch of Sanrio. I just want to see if the paper is... Okay, so it's lined paper, and then it's got these characters, which I don't know what they say, because I cannot read Korean, unfortunately. But I love it. I love it. I love it. I can never have too many notebooks, and I love the size of this. This is perfect for carrying in my handbag. And then we have this super one here that is adorable as well, with the little chicken on it. And it is a little lined notepad as well. And this is, again, perfect for carrying in my purse. It's so adorable. I wish we had awesome Asian markets that sold stuff like this around here. I, I'm assuming that she got these at an Asian market and not actually in Korea, but I don't know, to be perfectly honest. You never can tell. Some people get to travel the world and, you know props to them but I love these goodies we do have an Asian market that opened recently near us but they don't really have any fun stationary stuff or anything that's not food related for the most part they have some like cookware and things but nothing really you know nothing fun like stationary wise or anything I wish they did oh this is beautiful oh look at this with the blue butterfly she knows me so well for someone that I met once this girl knows me so well this is so 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 pretty so I'm probably going to put this in my car. I'm going to hang it um, 
I don't like to put things actually over my rear view mirror and have my view obstructed. Plus, I always worry that the cops are going to bust me in New York for that. So I usually put them by my passenger side. I unhook my mirror. You know how your mirror can pop out of the little holder in one section? And then I wrap this around and then I put the mirror back up so it holds it securely in place and it's out of your line of vision. But I definitely am going to put that in my car because it's beautiful and I want to see it all the time. Again, I'm so sorry for the sniffles, guys. I know it's so disgusting that I just keep sniffling away. All right, I've got three goodies here. This one is so cute. Oh, look at this sweet little girl. And she is another eraser. It is a Japanese wooden doll eraser. So this one is made in Japan. But look at how cute she is. Oh my gosh, adorable. Let me see if I can get her out so you can get a better look at her. She will go on my desk probably. So I can look at her all the time. This one I will definitely never use because she's way too cute. Let me see if I can. Ugh, it's like sealed really well, which is good, but not when you're shooting a video and you want to open things quickly. But there she is in her cute little outfit with her sweet hair. Oh my gosh. And she's blue. I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. She's adorable. Then we have two more little writing utensils. I'm going to go with writing utensils because I don't know if they're pens or pencils. This one I'm thinking is probably a pen. It's got this little rubber safety cap there. Oh, it is. Oh, it's got rubber on the tip, red rubber on the tip, if you can see. So I'm going to peel that off. And I don't know if that means it's going to write red or if that's just the protective tip, because I've had ones that have that protective tip. Um, if they're like roller balls, let's say. Nope, it writes in black and it's really thin and really smooth. I just made a bunch of scribbles. But it writes really nicely. I love it. It's so cute. And look at the little kitty cat. And it even comes with a little plas plastic protector over it so the kitty doesn't get damaged in transit. I love this pen so, so much. Then we have another one. And this one says Miffy. And that is the name, I'm presuming, of this sweet little bunny rabbit. And this one is... And it does actually have the millimeters on it. This one is uh 0.5 millimeters this one is going to be a little bit thicker at 0.35 millimeters so let's try this one out i'm just going to scribble underneath you actually can't really see the difference in the ink but that's okay because i both write really smoothly that was the first pen that was the second pen but i love them oh and there's one more Oh, there's one more. Oh, this is so cute. It actually looks like a pencil. It's got these little push pin designs all over it. And it looks like a lead pencil, but that's actually just the cap for the pen. I love it. And this one, again, writes in a very fine tip black rollerball. And I love these. Oh, I love them so much. Again, I'm pausing to blow my nose. So sorry, guys. Okay, guys, we're back. And I did replace the cap on this tip, even though the tip is like retractable, like it does, you know, pop in and pop out. I'm going to keep it over there just in case it helps keep the ink fresher longer. You never know. And hopefully we're done with the snot. Sorry, guys, it's charming. And then last, oh, no, we have, I was going to say last but not least, we have two more goodies. We have some high chews, which I have had these before and they are so yummy. And these are in cherry. I've never actually had a package. I've always had like just little individual ones like at promotional events and things. I remember when a store opened at the mall. I can't remember what the name of the store was. But they had this little, it was like, um, I don't remember if it was like a dart game or if it was like cornhole where you throw the bean bag and you have to get it into the center of the target. But if you played the game, they gave you some high chews, and they were really yummy. And that's the last time I remember having them, but they're really, really good. And then last but not least, we have this ginormous box of milk chocolate rolls. Crispy chocolate wafer with tasty milk filling. But <coughs> now I'm going to hack up a lung because we're done being snotty. <laughs> but anyway, these look so yummy, Carolyn. Oh, my gosh. These are product of Taiwan, and they sound so delish. I'm so excited. And I like that it's three servings per container because this feels really heavy. And I hate when you, like, you hold a box of cookies or snacks and they say that it's supposed to be like 10 servings because it's like, really? That means you're going to eat one stick and that's a serving? That's Who is that realistic for? The fact that this big heavy box, which actually weighs 0.95 grams or 3.35 ounces, um, 
it's a good size package and it actually says that there are three servings in here and 160 calories per serving which i really don't even have to feel guilty about because i'm trying so hard to watch my weight you guys i've mentioned it before i am porking out big time and i'm really unhappy with it so this is something that i can pace myself just have one serving and feel good about because i'm having something sweet and yummy and new to me and not have to feel guilty and even the potato snacks i have a feeling these are not going to be that bad either let's say servings per container about two thank you thank you korea for being realistic about portion sizes unlike we are in the united states where they again would probably say that this is supposed to be like four portions get real I could eat this whole bag in one sitting with ease, but it's only 130 calories per serving and, again, about two servings. That's freaking crazy. So I could literally eat this whole bag and not feel that guilty, but I will try to eat it in two separate occasions, at least so I can share some with my husband. And even with these here, let's see, 218 calories, serving size... Servings per container, one. It's this whole box is a serving. Uh, oh, I love you. I need to move to Korea. These are Korean too, I believe. Yeah, Korea number one brand. I need to move to Korea. Where like they don't. And, and and if you look at most people in Korea compared to most people in the United States, who are the El Blimpos and who are the ones that look more healthy and fit? Making a generalization. I'm including myself in the El Pigo category, but just putting this out there, you know? So, yeah, I, I just need to move to Korea. <laughs> That's it. I just need to get out of the U.S. But anyway, no, I love being American. Don't 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 think I'm like hating on America and stuff, but I would love to, to travel the world and live someplace else. Just experience a different type of life. It would be so cool. Not likely to ever happen, but you never know. But this is the next best thing. I get exposed to all this fun Asian stuff from Korea and Japan and China, and I'm so stoked. Carol Ann, you are such a sweetheart for sending this to me. First thing I do when I stop this video before I even upload it is read your card because I want to know all the news of what's been going on with you. But thank you for being so incredibly kind to me. I am so touched. I can't even begin to tell you. I was expecting like when you initially said like, oh, I'll send you a pen. You know, I'll send you a couple pens. I expected like two pens. I did not expect this wonderful box of joy. So thank you so, so, so much. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you. I look forward to reading your letter. I will write you back because I like snail mail. So I don't know about you, but I, I made sure I took a picture of your address off the box right away so that in case like I brain farted and threw the box away, I will have your mailing address so I can write you back. I will snail mail you back, I promise, because I love doing that. I, I'm like the dork that still collects note cards and stationery and loves to send cards and Letters, so I will definitely write you back. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'm probably going to be shooting a another video, maybe two, but I'm definitely going to go go inside first and blow my nose <laughs> and try to take an allergy pill and hope that this clears me up a little bit so I won't be quite so nasal in the rest of my videos. But again, thank you for watching, guys. I love you so much. Carol Lam, kisses to you and your daughter on the kitties and i hope you are well my friends and thank you for watching guys i'll be back soon with more stuff bye